Carson Casey. I'm the Director of Marketing here at Line Vision. Today, I want to talk about the importance of a resilient grid. With climate change comes more extreme weather events, and with that comes greater threats to overall transmission assets. At Line Vision, we're working with our customers to not only help prepare for the energy transition, but also prepare the grid for the extreme climate change that we're facing. A number of our customers have come to us seeking proactive icing detection on their transmission and distribution lines. And I'm really excited today to introduce Rachel Groot, the senior data scientist on our team who really helped to do, develop this program. Thanks so much for joining us, Rachel. Hey, Carson. Yeah, thanks for having me. It's great to be here talking about icing. Rachel, can you tell, tell me a little bit about why this is a concern for utilities? Yeah, so icing buildup on um, lines can be really heavy. It can be really damaging for customers for um, lines. So um, it's something that's important to be aware of. And so that's where line vision comes in, it's being aware in real time. Can you tell me a little bit about how the line vision icing detection application works? Yeah, so there are two components to our icing detection. Uh, the first component is icing risk level. So that's based on ambient conditions such as weather. And we're looking for two different types of icing risk conditions. We're looking at can, looking for conditions that are conducive to in-cloud icing like rime and glaze, as well as precipitation-based icing like um, snow or freezing rain. The second part of our icing algorithm is comparing the real-time SAG that we're detecting for the conductors to uh, their digital twin. So the digital twin is something that we build as we collect more data for a given site. So we can basically say, where do we expect this conductor to be based on the ambient conditions? And then when the conductor is sagging significantly more than we would expect based on the digital twin and the conditions are conducive to icing, then we say icing is detected. So how can utilities include this proactive monitoring into their icing mitigation strategy that they may already have in place today? So these are um, both the icing risk level as well as icing detected are something that utilities can access in the data portal from Line Vision. So they can also set alerts. So say a company wanted to be aware when icing is detected on their lines, you can set an alert and get an email in real time when icing has been detected on your line. Okay, great. And so can you share a recent example of where we've detected icing for one of our customers? Yeah, sure. So um, on this graph, you can see this is from early February of this year. This is a real event where um, the icing risk level was increasing over several hours. And you can see that red line is when we actually detected icing on the line. And this was a multi-day event too. So there was icing on this line for multiple days before probably melting off after several days. And so this is something that um, in real time could be alerted. This is all really interesting and, and I imagine is going to be really impactful for a number of utility partners out there. Um, if I was interested in getting more information about the Line Vision icing detection capabilities, where should I go? Yeah, so for current clients, uh, this data is available in the portal. And for everyone who's interested in learning more about the algorithm and how it works, they can access that on our website, which is linevisioninc.com. Awesome. Thanks so much for the time today, Rachel. Thanks, Carson.